This is version five of my video series on how to locate property corners. Today our property lines will be defined by a one arc second graticule box. We will drop in from space and zoom in on this orange graticule. We will fly across this field and examine it using a 14 foot tripod. We will measure with this Garmin device using 14 satellites for accuracy. Next, our smartphone will obtain six decimal digits of GPS data. Magic cones will pinpoint the four corners of our working surface. Next, our blue box will prove that typical DMS measurements are a waste of space. Then we will switch from DMS to four digit, five digits, and even six digits of accuracy. Lastly, this table will compare GPS measurements to the size of these graticule boxes. We're flying in, we're moving and we're measuring, and we are going to do all of that and more next. So where you live is called your address, but where you are on this planet can be identified by GPS coordinates. I started to notice that latitude and longitude coordinates were on mapping websites and Google Earth and even some home decorating. Many of these coordinates that I see describe a latitude and longitude range called a graticule. As an example, below me and to the left, you will see 51 degrees and 37 seconds. The Johnsons have declared this as their home location, but what they are describing is a one mile box in which there are over a thousand other homes. Uh, oops. Top left corner, please find the Millers in Virginia. Their GPS location is in degrees, minutes, and seconds called DMS. The Millers here are declaring that their house location is somewhere within an 8,000 square foot box, which is pretty big. It just so happens that there are parts of four other homes inside of that box also. So I propose that in the future, DMS coordinates like the orange ones here are going to go away and that they will be replaced by five digit decimal, see the red numbers here, and even six digit decimal degrees like the pink ones shown here because all of those are more accurate. So let's go out into the field and visualize this further. Using Google Earth with the grid lines turned on, we can zoom in on these various graticule boxes. The white rectangles are in degrees, minutes, and seconds, just like this house decoration. In the middle of the purple circle, notice the one arc second coordinate lines expressed as integers, so that the white shaded graticule can be described by the coordinates in purple shown below. Measuring across the two longitude lines now shows a width of about 80 feet. Measuring the two latitude lines shows a vertical height of about 102 feet. So with DMS coordinates, we are not defining an exact spot. We are getting an 8,200 square foot shaded approximation. Next is the ground level zoom to introduce you to our working surface. I will be using this ladder and this tall 14 foot tripod to video this graticule in great detail next.
This is our insider view of the map that I use to describe this Graticule box. The bottom right corner, notice that's our datum in degrees, minutes, and seconds. The very bottom right, find the 26 seconds and the 53 seconds in orange. As I walked from point A up to point B on the map, the coordinates were exactly the same until I got to point B and noticed that the latitude changed from 26 to 27. In a similar way, nothing changed as I walked from point A until I arrived over at point D when the longitude changed from 53 seconds to 54 seconds. So as I walked around that red box, which is 80 feet by 102 feet, nothing changed. It's the exact same coordinate inside of that box, which indicates how using degrees, minutes, and seconds for coordinates is very inaccurate for describing your location. Now let's visualize the relative sizes of these GPS boxes. The most popular DMS box shown with the orange cones is a whopping 80 feet by 102 feet in size. The four digit decimal box shown here with the yellow cones is getting smaller at 28 feet by 36 feet. Next, the five digit decimal boxes with these shiny orange cones is only 21 inches by 32 inches. And next for the holy grail is the six digit decimal box shown with these pink flags that are only three inches by four inches apart. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is accuracy at a glance. So let's talk about real world right now. Most of our navigation and our location sharing goes from address to address to address. Navigation websites are really good about sending us to an address. Now, that address could be a small house, it could be a big house, or how about an apartment building with 16 units inside? Or how about, like I did a few weeks ago, you're meeting a friend at a stadium with 80,000 people? How about connecting with a friend at a big concert? I mean, where are you supposed to go? So DMS is good if you want to just show up at an address and figure it out from there. <laughs> it's funny. I work in an office building with five doors, multiple floors, and package delivery is a joke because the professionals show up at an address and they just have to figure it out. That all could be fixed so easily with six digit decimal degrees of accuracy. So if you are curious to learn more about six decimal degrees, where they come from and how to use them, I did put a link in the video description. With videos like this, let's make sure we're all headed in the right direction, okay? So good luck on your journey. I hope you find your way. This has been Mark Scheller, signing off.